I am Jay Kumar of www.astrovedika.com. Here we will deal with the colors of the planets. Jupiter is of golden hue, Sun is reddish, the Moon is fair, Mars deep red, Mercury greenish, Saturn black, Venus polished light black, Rahu black as it resembles Saturn and Ketu red as it resembles Mars. Rekta Shyama Bhaskaro Gaura Indu Nadyul Chango Rekta Gaurasya Vakra Durve Shyametne Guru Gaura Gatra Shyama Shukro Bhaskari Krishna Dehi In Vedic astrology, the uh, houses 1, 4, 7, 10 are called quadrants and 1, 5, 9 houses are called trines. Benefic planets like Jupiter, Venus and Mercury are considered to be powerful when they are posited in quadrants. It is said that these natural benefics and quadrants can destroy crores of afflictions. If natural malefics own quadrants, they become benefics. Mars and Saturn are good as owners of quadrants. On the other hand, if natural benefics like Venus and Jupiter own quadrants, they are tainted by quadrangular ownership. They become functional malefics. Now we'll deal with the significators of houses. The first house represents personality and fame and is signified by the sun. The second house rules wealth and is signified by Jupiter. The third house is signified by Mars as he rules brothers and sisters. The fourth house by the moon as he rules conveyances. And the fifth house by Jupiter as he represents children. The sixth house is uh, signified by Saturn as he rules enemies. And the seventh house which represents a uh, wife is represent is signified by Venus. Ninth house is signified by Jupiter as he rules Punya, divine merit, heaven and philosophy and religion. The tenth house is signified by the sun as he rules conquest and profession. The eleventh house is signified by Jupiter as he rules gains and uh, uh, profits of a high order. And the twelfth house is ruled by Saturn as he represents laws.